In this video, I'm going to be showing you the Kapalua course you might have not heard of, the Bay Course. If you've been following along with this series, you know that I've been playing a head-to-head, four-round tournament against Sean Walsh. And in this video, it's moving day. It's round three out of four. And just to put something on the line today, we're going to be playing a little money game where the front nine is worth $100, back nine is another $100, and the winner of the total wins an additional $200. And again, throughout this entire Hawaii series, I'm donating $20 for every birdie to help support the victims of the Lahaina fire. We want to do our part in helping out the community, so let's get the birdies rolling today. Alright, good morning. This is our Airbnb. It's a little tight, a little tight, but just uh, walked on the beach this morning, had a little acai bowl, nice little warm up to the round, but. Today we're going to be playing the bay course. This is the only course that we're playing that's on the coastline. So of course be, there'll be holes like right on the ocean and everything. It'll look really cool. I'm excited to go play. Let's get over there to the golf course. We're playing this the original routing. They told us this is how the course is originally meant to be played. So we're actually starting on, I guess what's currently hole four, but is our hole one. Let's go, first hole, par four looks like, a little bit to the right, going with drivers. Maybe it's a par five, I don't know. Who knows, we'll find out. Uh, a little slow ball, somehow I didn't go left though. I'm gonna assume we're fine. Yeah, I think you're okay there. Yeah. That was also the worst I've ever zoomed in my life. <laughs> okay, <laughs> slow start. Okay, uh, I haven't really hit a ball in a while, so that's okay. Slow start here, but we're off and running. Seems to be good. Something like that, something like that. All right, got 215 adjusted. <laughs> We're up a, quite a bit of a hill. I think it's like 197, like actual. So I'm gonna go, it's either five or four iron. Don't really know how firm the greens are right now. So feeling it out, feeling it out. Probably gonna go with a soft four. No fade fade. I mean, I think that's probably on the green. So should have a look for the big bird. Start the day. Uh, basically, same shot or same number as Quan, 197 up to 215. Yeah, just gonna kind of look to keep it a little left. I'm gonna hit a hard five. I don't know if that's really the right club. I just like the fact that I gotta hit a solid. Oh lordy. Get more left, please. I have to step out of the way because that's so left. <laughs> Uh, not ideal, but it's on the fat side of the green, I guess. That's the only positive about that thing. Fat side mafia. Fat side mafia, yeah. All right, uh, fun little spot here. Um, that's what happens if you if you play like a wussy, then you have even more difficult shots. So uh, yeah, this is kind of a weird one. Down slope, landing it, and then it's kind of got to go up and over. So I'm gonna take a 50, try to run it, and hopefully hopefully we judge the speed right. Hey, shout out Kapalua for giving you some free Dude, right? Shirt, right? Michael Castillo, honestly the Castillo brothers, because Rick Castillo gave me some King Kamehameha bucket hat and shirt, and then Michael, Gave me a shirt. Your so. luggage bag is getting a little extra. I heavier. know, right? Exactly. Honestly, I'm just such a grade A mooch. It's unbelievable. <laughs> wow. I think I should have clubbed up a little bit more. I should have added more loft. I don't think I should have hit that with a 50. But honestly, that ended up about 25 feet closer than I thought it yeah, was going to. Yeah, it kept on rolling. So, yeah, I think these greens are good, man. Yeah. All right, based on Sean's chip shot there, these greens should be trickling out a little bit more, a little bit, I think it's a little bit quicker, not as hairy. So, gotta try to dial that in. A little left to right, actually, a lot left to right. Qu quite a quite a big sting. Whoa. Stinger, slinger. Trickle, trickle, keep trickling. I'm not gonna lie, I thought that was short. That was a great putt. I thought that was short. That's pretty good where, from, where, from where I was. That's good, Quan. Thank you. Almost lost balance. I guess mine's working a little left to right. Gosh, it's just not a great chip, but hopefully we can maybe roll one in. Haven't really rolled one in all week, but... We're due. Yeah, exactly. Let's get it going early. Early and often. Mm. Whoa. These do have a little more speed. That's what I'm saying, dude. They got some trickle speed on Holy them. Holy smokes. I better freaking make that. Start with a three whack bogey from greenside and two. There you go. There you go. A little, 
a little too much suspense there on the first hole. No kidding, right? Yeah, I don't, you're supposed to be nice. It's supposed to be vacation. I shouldn't be stressing myself out so much. <laughs> All right, second hole, par four. I'm pretty sure there's a par four this time. Dog leg to the right. There's a bit of a creek, um, so we're trying to hit three, which is stay short of the water. Because obviously you don't want to be in the water. That's, a, that's very obvious. Wise words. <laughs> Wiped across some more. I don't know. I had a image pop in my head, like landed in the bunker and like rolled out, but <laughs> we'll see if that actually happened. Just kind of get into this round, you know. I'm already one down, but that's okay. I, I kind of gagged the first hole anyway, green side, so. Alright, good three wood. Ah, that's pretty good. That's exactly where you want to go. All right, we take doves. Oh, what have we done? Uh, dude, this is why you play Braggstrom. <laughs> Hopefully there's nothing in there, like animals. Dude. Well, yeah, I don't think the island has snakes. All right. If this was in Texas, I'd be scared to death. Yeah. But this is in Hawaii, so this is probably poison ivy or something. I don't something. even see your ball from Hopefully here. Hopefully they don't have poison ivy. It's, it's like kind of right here. It's there actually it not terrible. I'm the one who said, yeah, maybe like hybrid, and you're like, no, three wood. <laughs> now we're both in this crap. That's on me. Go. Don't they? Is that? I mean, I, I, it kind of disappeared. I couldn't tell if that's on the green or not. I hope so. Honestly, about a nine and a half out of 10. Yeah, from where you <laughs> from really where we are. Can't really ask for anything better than that. Yeah. All right, I got 84 yards. This is actually not too bad. I mean, it's it's in the rough technically, but we got a bunch of hoo-ha in front of it. So 84, I mean, same thing as Sean. I'm just trying to land it just short of the green, let it trickle up. If you think that's gonna spin at all, don't know why you're thinking that. Holy big bounces. I didn't think I was going to get up, all the way up there. I got freaking assaulted by these. What is this? What would you call that? Grass. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thankfully I was able to hack it out of crap onto the uh, onto the green here. Give ourselves a putt at it, actually. Should be bake, bleh, bleh, baking and breaking a little bit to the right. Got to have good speed, though. This should be a little quick at the end. Girl. My speed is dialed today, dude. Maybe I should have hit a couple practice putts. <laughs> Might have been helpful. All right, I got a putt from the other side of where Sean is. So Sean's was pretty fast. Mine's got to be somewhat slow. It's just, it's moving a good amount right to left as well. So oh my goodness! I was trying to get a little uh, dude. I watched uh, I watched Taco Golf last night, and he was just walking in putts yesterday. I was trying to be like Ty. All right. Trying to walk that putt in. I gotta be cockier with my putting. Yeah, you do. Honestly. I think you need to kind of carry a little bit of swagger. Yeah, like, I gotta just try to walk him in. It's like, there's absolutely no way I'm gonna miss this putt. Exactly. We're gonna, we're gonna try to just be obnoxiously arrogant <laughs> when we're on the putting green. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, a cup out, right to left, but I mean, it's probably gonna go in. How was that? Is that pretty good? <laughs> Is that obnoxious and arrogant? It felt like it. Well, it doesn't work. You better be humble, kid. You better be humble. Putting's off to a hot start. Wow, already two down through two, man. All right, hole three, we got a par three. 223 flag, we're downwind. I mean, honestly, I think it's just straight downwind. So I'm gonna go with the six iron, but it's gotta be roasted. I mean, I roasted it, but it's freaking left of left. What is that? What is that? I'll tell you what that is. That is not a good effort. Brittany's gonna be mad at us. Yeah, she is. Quan at six and obviously kind of tugged it, but I don't. I still don't think it got to pin high, so yeah. I'm gonna hit five. I think that should be the right club. Poor Brittany, we keep making her go up there, saying that if we make a hole in one, she'll get a Louis Vuitton bag. <laughs> and we keep missing the green, so. Uh, we'll do better. <laughs> I mean, that was hit pretty nice. Needs to stop drifting. Oh, what, what? Short? That is past the green. Whoa. I mean, it landed on the green. It just landed kept on, on rolling. The green, just rolled over. Yeah. 
Dang, dude, this wind's kind of trippy out here. Mm. I mean, I really should probably start looking at a compass, but oopsies. All right, obviously that is just a not very good shot, but that shot's already done. Let's try to get this one up and down. This is uh, not super short-sighted, but I will say it's a little bit short-sighted. We've got wind kind of running away from us. Greens are a little bit quicker as well, so got to get this thing up in the air, try to let it stop kind of quicker. I mean, that's one way to make the ball st stop. Goodness. I actually don't think it was that bad. I think it was gonna go by maybe six, seven feet, but I would much rather have a two-footer than a six-footer. Uh, that's good. That was, that was pretty awesome. All right, Luke hit himself a peach of a chip shot there. I would love to do the same thing, except maybe Mike can hit the pin and go in. Um, honestly, a great light. I think I'm just gonna, I'm actually gonna take a 60, try to kind of spin it and fly it a little bit further than I normally would. Oh my goodness, I needed to go another two feet. Oh boy. Um, this wind almost blew me over. All right, should be down the hill, working right to left. I really need this to go. Let's get the kind of some confidence flowing. Out with the bad, in with the good. Cool. Oh, what a beauty. Needed it. You're a beauties man. Needed it, needed it. Oh, thanks man. See, I get fist pumps for making par now. That's the state of my golf game at the moment. I will say that is the one time I was actually trying to make you say thanks, dude. And yeah. you actually avoided it. I avoided it! I thought of it just before I said it. Yes! Alright, it's a good, good par from Sean. Par for both of us. Long par three, honestly. So, not too upset about it. Alright, fourth hole. We got, I think it's a drivable hole. It's like 318 and it's uh, maybe a little bit of help, but mostly off the right. So, I'm gonna have to fight the wind a little bit with this fade, but I think I can maybe creep it up there, maybe front edge of the green. Go with driver. It has a distance, it's on the green. Couldn't see it. It's on the green. Front edge? No, it was like middle left. Oh, really? Yeah, got down there pretty Sweet. good. All right, uh, Quan had a great drive. I really just want to do that. I would love to get more greedy than that, but I mean, there's no way to get close to that pin. <laughs> so I just want to hit driver and have to putt next. Oh, gosh. Right. A bit right. I just hope it didn't hit the path. Yeah, I couldn't see it. I mean, okay. it's probably okay. Honestly, I think I'm fine. I just I just keep trying to make golf harder for myself. I win closest to the pin, yet I'm probably gonna make at least a four, if not a five, and Quan's gonna two putt birdie it. Um, this is not very good here. No. This is tough. Down slope, ball below my feet. I have about four and a half feet of green to work with. Downwind. Da thank you, yep. If I can kind of close my eyes, hope, really pray that I can maybe pull this off. Uh, how good is this? What? <laughs> that was the best shot I've hit in my life. Probably, <laughs> holy crap. Call this man Houdini. I mean, you could give me like the easiest, if you gave me this pitch shot, I'm hitting it to 15 feet, but you just gave me an impossible one and I hit it to five. I better make the pie. This is gonna be such a letdown, holy crap. All right, I mean, I'm in a good spot, but uh, that was an unbelievable shot there by Sean. A little left to right from my putt. Oh wow, it's a little longer than I thought. Yeah, that, like, it like hit a wall of wind. At first I was like, oh, that's really good. Yeah. And then it just like smoked it. Yeah. All right, another bird. Another bird for you, boy. Okay, uh, Quan with a good two putt, that was kind of to be expected. What was not to be expected was to have a five footer here for birdie. Blowing pretty good left to right, but the, it should break to the left. So I think I'm gonna hit it just on that right edge and hope it breaks a little bit. What? I didn't want it to break left. No, I think the wind got me. Yeah, I kind of gusted a little bit. I think so. Man, I will say, I mean, I think Sean agrees with me. I, we both like playing in the wind. The only thing playing in the wind wise is the putting because the putting can get kind of weird when it's when it's blowing sideways but unfortunately missed there by sean but solid bird for me all right i better 
better get going. I'm only one over, but I've had my chances. Just haven't been putting that great this trip, so hopefully we can kind of turn that ship around uh, right here. But hey, putting doesn't matter if you don't hit a good drive, so let's see if we can do that. Well, there's another hole over there, which is good. Dude, the game right now. Oh gosh, it, it just doesn't feel good. But there's plenty of golf left. I better get my crap together. Get it together. Get it together, Brittany. All right, I'm also going with driver. We're having a bit of technical difficulties. We actually use our boy Jared's drone for all the clips out here. So shout out Jared. Thanks for letting us use your Mavic 3 Cine. That thing's like five grand. <laughs> Anyways. Oh boy. Oh boy. Why are those trees so short like me? All right, I I thought I was gonna be a lot further left. I'm only like two yards off the fairway somehow, but um, 105 flag adjusted, went hard off the left, so I'm gonna have to be, you know, playing for this ball to just be drifting quite a bit. Probably gonna go with the 55 degree. That looks like a deep ball, my goodness. The thing looked like it had no spin, it was just, that was a flyer, that's what it's called, that's a flyer. Wow, Sean, good drive. Yeah, I drove it all the way up here greenside. I thought it was a little bit right, but... Just kidding! We're playing to that hole. Um... Oops. Not bad, not bad. I think we have a birdie putt. All right, well, the ball was supposed to land short of the flag by a few yards. It landed like almost back edge, so unfortunate there, but let's try to get the speed right. Dude, look at, I think I already showed you guys this view, so I guess I'm gonna show you guys again. This is so nice, look at Sean there. Our <laughs> model. <laughs> Come on. Rage. Rage. Man, I keep thinking it's gonna be short and it's not that bad. Okay, decent look here. Uh, Honestly, I'm going away from the line. I just need a change. I just need a change. Haven't been putting good to this trip. Switching it up, and we're just going to try to focus on my routine right now. That's all I care about, nailing my routine. Oh, dude, I just didn't hit it. That was the line. Honestly, I feel pretty good. First two-putt part of the day. Small wins. All right, let's clean up our little two-putt here. Should be just right in the, right in the middle. All right. Hey, the greens are rolling pretty nice, I will say. But two pars for us on that hole. Sean was in not a very good spot here, but yeah, good par. On to the next one. All right, hole six, we got a par five, 540. Wind just howling off the right. You know what I also love about this place? They got little narrow tee boxes. I love this stuff. I don't know. <laughs> the nice thing about this is it's not hard to figure out which direction the wind's blowing. Because it is humming. Uh, it's kind of what you expect when you come to Hawaii. Nice. Big bounce, I think too. That's going to be a bomb. I like that. I like the way I hit that. Oh, there's my tee. Oh, got it. Nah, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I got 193 kind of up in this bunker. There's not really a whole lot of lip trouble, so. Although I, I remember last time I said that on camera, I hit it straight in the lip. Come on, seven iron lip shouldn't be an issue. Oh, famous last words. Bruh. I just got done saying the wind's off the right. Ho ho ho, it landed over the bunker. I think it's still fine. At least I'm pitching into the wind. Look at that. Me being positive, pitching into the wind. We'll get up and down. All right, Shea Butter, I got 189 down to 178. I'm gonna go with the seven. I probably normally hit an eight, but I'm too lazy to walk back to the cart. <laughs> you know, yep. classic. But yeah, just a little flight at seven so it doesn't get affected by the wind too much, but it's definitely gonna be hooking to the left because of this wind. Turn more. Oh no. See? That's why you go back to the cart. Because an eight would have been so perfect there too. 
All right, I get it, I get it. That shot sucked, but hey, I'm a pin high at least. Again, pitching into the wind. I should be able to get this close. There's, it's not even short side or anything, just come on. Why so much nip? I don't know. All right, let's go try to make that putt for bird. See, I mean, how perfect would an eight iron been there? <laughs> really perfect. Really perfect. It's okay, nothing a good putt can't fix though. It looks like it's kind of like halfway there. It looks like it goes down, but I'm putting up the mountain, but then it's pretty shiny, which means it's kind of down grain. So I'm kind of lost. I feel so bad with the putter right now. <laughs> My mind is just scrambled, dude. I'll keep going while I'm hot here, Quan. Let's get going. I'm, I'm, for whatever reason, I'm back to the line. I'm back to the line. Probably shouldn't be. Oh well. See, I felt like that was a good putt. I am the king of par. Give me par. It's okay. I might join you. I don't know. The wind's kind of like fighting the brakes. So I gotta try to feel it in there. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Dang it. Dude, you know what I was thinking in the fairway? This is a short ass par five. It is short par five. We just parted. Good part, dude. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Alright, seventh hole. Dude, we just found uh, Tiger Woods in the middle of the fairway. There's three of them. Three Tiger Woods, they're all cloned. Alright, anyways, it's uh, par five. Four, a little split flare, split fairway action. Honestly, if you're playing bad or if you're hitting a bat off the tee box, I would say just hit it at the water and just proceed to hit it bad. I'm gonna go right. I think that's a better play. Just kidding, I'm going left. Actually, I'm going right at the water. Please carry it. Okay. <laughs> that was not what I was trying to do. Good drive. Way to execute what you were trying to do. Yeah. I'm gonna hit three wood, but I'm going for the right fairway. I'm, just, I'm gonna say before I hit versus Quan, he said it after. You know, just a touch right of the herd of goats. Touch right of tiger. Touch right of tiger and MJ and Wayne Gretzky. How good was that? Wow. Pretty good. Oh, this guy's good. Dude, if only I could hit my putter as straight as my three wood, I feel like I'd be in good shape. We got 106 uphill to 111. <sighs> Dead in the fan. So, I actually have a pitching wedge here. I mean, I feel like this should be pin high. I just kind of left it open. I'm feeling a rally though. I'm feeling, I just need a putt to go in. I need something good to happen. And then we'll be moving. All right, I got 93 yards up this freaking steep hill. Uh, 93 is adjusted. I think it was like 87. Gonna go with a 55 degree, try to hit it like just a, probably a strong 90 shot. We're a little bit into the wind as well. Try to get nice and close. Oh, that's gotta go. Oh my, oh my freaking wall of wind. <laughs> that's not even close, dude. All right, that was kind of a, that was kind of a brain fart, honestly. I should have hit a soft 51. Hindsight's 2020 20, though. I gotta try to get this pitch up and down. This would be a very dumb bogey if I make this bogey, Sean. <laughs> Roll out. Got a little bit of meat left, but not too bad of a chip there. This is my opportunity, dude. If I can roll this one in, get a little two shot, two shot swing, because I think I'm down three right now. He needs it. The kid needs it. Oh, with the my speed is freaking awful. <laughs> but how bad does it go to show you that my reads are? Did I hit that with speed that was going seven feet past the hole and it still went in? That's how bad the read was. Oh my gosh. Hey, it's a bird. It's a birdie. Holy crap. What a day. I can't believe that. <laughs> the ball literally was airborne. All right, I gotta try to make this thing. Should be moving a little left to right. Hopefully a little better speed. That is such a bad bogey. <sighs> my goodness, man. What are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? My goodness. Close. Thanks. All right, that's a bogey from me from the middle of the fairway with a wedge in my hands. I might just, uh, I might just go home after that. 
I'm just looking at the goats, dude. Could you imagine like the three amigos just rolling deep? We're at, just chilling out at Capitol eating some grass. You think they realize how sick of a view they got? All right, this is our eighth hole here at Capilouis Bay Course. Kind of a tough part three. Back into the teeth of the trade winds, front pin. I think I already said 182, but if I didn't, it's 182. Adjusted. Adjusted. Dude, I think it's every bit of 200. I agree. I mean, I'm gonna go with the five iron. Where's the curl? Seriously, I kind of thought that would turn pretty good. Oh! Take off. Oh, short. Sure. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> No, it's not. I thought it was short. Too. I thought it was short. Hell yeah. You literally just verbalized all of my thought process. <laughs> I thought it was short also. I'm like, oh crap. Oh good. Oh crap. Oh good. <laughs> all right. Sean literally just took the words out of my mouth. Uh, going with five wood. Did you say five wood? Yes. Why did I say five wood? That's a lot of club. I'm an idiot. Oh my you lordy. You won't do it for me. Please. Do it. Oh man. Good swing. Bounce back bird. I hope that's close. I hope the distance is right. Dude, we can't tell that belt here. that you got on, bro. How nice Cap is that? Lua, baby. Jeez. All right. Well, got a little bit more work left than I thought. I thought it was like so close off the tee box, but still, it was such a good shot. Look how small the green is at the very front here. Dude, it's like <laughs> we literally have four yards right and four yards left. But yeah, I got a. I think it's going a little left to right. Mountains over there. Uh, I just other than that, it just looks pretty straight. So I'm gonna go left to right. Did go right. Just need a little more pace. Good par. I've just had such good speed all day on my putting. I just gotta keep doing that. Oh, ties it up. What a two last two holes. Right. That was better speed, thankfully. We're tied up going into the last for the hundred dollar right. front right. nine bet. The front nine. All right, last hole in this front nine. Most would say that's the ninth hole. Got a dead straight par four, downhill. Sean's going first. I think we're going to both go with the big dog. Send it. Bombs away, bro. I love the dead straight one. Where's the wind at? I know. And I ripped it. Like, I hit it solid. We'll see. We'll see. That was not. Where's the wind? I hit that right where I was looking. I thought the wind was going to move a little left, but it should be aight. Thankfully, this golf, these trees look like they would catch golf balls all the time, but I got 201 cover on that bunker. I'm just going to try to flush a six iron. I feel like if I hit it good, it should be perfect. It just needs to kind of maintain its height off this downhill slope. Go a little. Oh, right into the upper part of the lift. That's sweet. All right, I am unfortunately in the right rough. This looks kind of like a jumpy lie. And honestly, I don't know if I want to be short or long. It doesn't look great. Like front bunker, it's not that big a deal, but back bunker doesn't look great either. So uh, I'm just gonna go right of the bunkers and just leave myself like a 30 foot putt. Go with a six iron. Uh, 202 is the adjusted. Whoa, settle, settle. I think that's fine. I mean, we're not putting. But we did miss the bunkers, just like how I wanted. That thing had no spin on it. All right, golly, I was close, man. I needed about another yard, and it's probably 30 feet per eagle. Nonetheless, it's not too terribly difficult of a bunker shot, but kind of a little bit of a downslope. But the cool thing, I don't know if y'all know this, I don't even know if we talked about this, but we're the only ones playing this golf course today. So talk about rolling out the red carpet. I mean, look at these. I mean, they, they got the golf course ready, changed all the pins, raked all the bunkers for us. I mean, holy smokes. Shout out Michael Castillo and the team here at Kapalua. <laughs> yeah, honestly not bad off that down slope. Yeah. All right, well, this isn't as good of a spot as I thought. It's off a down slope, obviously, but I don't really have that much room and uh, it's downhill from here. So I'm gonna have to land this thing on the fringe. It should be down, down grain, so it shouldn't like stick there. So this is gonna be pretty quick. I'm pretty happy with that. That was not very easy. Nice. All right. See if Sean can answer here for his bird. 
I sound like I just said that in like a golf channel analyst <laughs> voice. And here we are on the ninth green. Sean has this putt to tie the match for $100 in the front nine NASA. How'd I do? Dude, it's low. Frick. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, I moved it back too. I moved it lower because I didn't like it being so high, but. A little hezzy? Definitely got hit with the hezzy. If you guys have been seeing the last few videos on my channel, I feel like I've had this theme going on where I get off to a hot start and then lose it. But hey, I, on this nine, I won this for hundred bucks. Got the back nine as well and the total. So a lot of golf left. All right. 10th hole, going straight up the hill. I think it's a par five, straight into the wind as well. I'm just hoping that we can get there in two, but we'll see. I mean, that bunker there is 230 carry, so. It is up, <laughs> uphill, but we should be fine on that line. Oh, I got close to the drone. That got so close to the drone. I love it. Crap. All right, I'm in this right rough, unfortunately. Straight uphill, straight into the wind. 208 adjusted. I'm literally looking at my three iron, thinking I'm in my three iron right here. I feel like there's too much club, but this is a lot of wind right now, so I'm gonna go with three iron. Holy cow, that looks like a rocket. That's gotta sit. I, I gotta imagine that's long. Brittany's looking like she's looking long right now. I mean, line was great though. All right, 223, 232. I'm a little further back than Quan was. I'm just gonna nut a three iron. I think what he tried to do was the perfect play, so. Let's see. And it's, not, it's not a bad spot. No, it's pretty good, but holy crap, I roasted that dude and it went like 205 yards. Jeez. Shay man, I want to hit a good chip shot here and make a birdie. That's all I'm going to say. Oh. oh! You said it went left, dude. I didn't say it. Thanks. <laughs> that wasn't even me. That wasn't me speaking. That was someone else. I feel else. like he should give that to me. Um, I'm going to make. An executive Bye. decision. We have to finish, honestly. I want to get to, what is it, 17th hole? Yeah. The 17th hole is probably their premier hole out here, so I want to make sure we finish. So, executive decision. I'm making it anyway, so. Didn't matter. Good buddy. Dude, this, this was a freaking rocket all the way to the, this is way back here. Well past the green, downwind. <laughs> Green's running away from me. I do have a lot of green to work with, but I still got to get this ball up in the air, get it, let, let it land soft. Pretty D. All right, a little cleanup work. Should be moving a decent amount right to left here. Beautimus. Hey, two solid birds on this par five. This was a long hole. This was playing long. That was a long 495 par five. <laughs> If you guys are serious about taking your game to the next level and you're struggling taking your golf game from the driving range over to the golf course or even going from your home course to another course and struggling, I genuinely think having a higher golf IQ will really help you guys out with that. I've said it many times before, but up until college golf, all I was playing was golf swing. I was not playing golf. I was told a lot of things by my coach on how to navigate through golf courses and kind of go through the correct thought process on the golf course. All those things will be in my course manager program. Here's a little sneak peek of what you'll find in that program right here. If I slow down my thoughts here so I can just try to explain, you know, my thought process to you, I probably initially thought, all right, let's hit my 170 club, about 155, which is the, the raw yardage here. But then you're going to also think about, all right, I'm taking off a pretty good amount of yardage if I were to hit that shot. So what happens when you do that? There's actually a free version of a course manager program. It's not the real version, but the free version is in the eye in the top right corner, or I'll put a link in the description. I have my swing program as well. If you want help with your golf swing, I have that link in the description as well. All right, went down to the left. You guys know how much I love that. Downhill, so it's gonna increase the uh, the time in the air. Uh, better aim left, because this thing's gonna sling to the right pretty good once it gets up there. Yep, yep, slinging to the right, isn't it? Frick, sit. Oh God, 
What's over there? What is over there? Uh, it's like death. <laughs> looks like a drain. It's like an abyss, I feel like. <laughs> it's, this is not good down there. All right, for how windy of a day, I have not hit a low ball yet. Like with the driver, I mean. Driver, low ball. I'm gonna hit a driver low ball. Driver stinger. Should be all right. Should be, should be sitting good right there. Sitting good. What am I saying? <laughs> sitting good. Sitting good. All right. Thankfully, we're fine over here. It's just kind of a culvert area. 64 up to 67. Time to hit a good wet shot. It's just so trippy when it's so above my feet like that. Into the wind too. Didn't hit it hard enough. Dang darn. Ah! All right, Shaler, we got 61 yards. Flag is, uh, there's a bit of a bit of room short and a little bit of room long, but not a whole lot. So I gotta get this distance dialed in. It should be a little bit into the wind. Hey. Man, that was looking nice in the air. All right, got a little bit of work left for our bird. Not the best wedge shot, again, shocker. I say that nearly all the time. Maybe I should work on my wedges. This is really teed up though. This is good turf here at Kapalua. Kind of gonna fly pretty far there and just kind of take one big hop and then stop, hopefully. Stop when it goes into the hole. Exactly, that'd be a good way to make a stop. Okay, okay. That's I mean, good. you just see this into the grain part. Oh, those are tough pitches, those are tough pitches. Dude, two years ago, I would have hit that a foot or bladed it across the green. <laughs> <laughs> I was right there with you. Yeah, that's good. All right, Shaler, got a little bit of work left. Like I said, a little right to the left. I think it's a little bit outside the hole, so hope I read this right, put a good speed on it. Oh, I just didn't hit it. I just didn't hit it. That was a good line. Par, it's an unfortunate par, but dude, this is a cool hole. Look how much slant there is on this. So much like side hill on this one. Twelfth hole here, par three. We've got 197 down to 190 is the adjusted number. 190 into the wind off the right. I'm gonna go with five iron, but it's gotta be soft. Like I have to for sure hit this thing soft. I followed my own directions. I definitely hit it soft. <laughs> it's like front part of the green. I'm gonna do a quand and just try to be maybe a touch more aggressive. I'm gonna also go five iron and yeah, really just have to make a confident swing trusting that I can hit this like 190, 195 and be fine. Stay right there. Touch long. Yeah, just a little bit. I think Honestly, you're probably still putting. Yeah, it was one of those that like once it started turning left, it just kind of rode it and went yeah. further. But nonetheless, still solid. All right. Yeah, that's what happens when it kind of just gets a little left on you. It goes a little long. But honestly, like, actually not a bad spot to chip from. Kind of chipping back up the hill. Quan's putt's a little bit tougher because he's got to come up over that hill. Mm. So uh, I'm going to try to, I've been chipping it good. Maybe chip one in. Maybe. Too much less. Oh man. Dude, I thought that that was gonna kinda just keep breaking left too. Frick. Oh well. Alright, good par though. Yep. There you go, good chip. Thanks, dude. Ah! <laughs> Got him. That's the first one today, I think. Alright, Sean did say correctly that I'm kinda going up and over a ridge. I gotta get this thing kinda like over the crest with the right speed. Hopefully, it just nestles up there, right? Right next to the hole. These putts aren't really all that easy. Gotta get the speed right. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Meat. Mito Pereira. Hey, can you move the shadow, please? Move the shadow out of the way. <laughs> Mr. Tree, can you please move? <gasps> Good catch there, hole. Good catch. Applause for that hole. Two, two solid pars in this part three. On to the next one. All right, 13th hole, oh my goodness. Look at the freaking view out here. The waves are strong. This is a, 
<laughs> probably not the right play but we got a 300 yard par four not a whole lot of green uh, not a whole lot of stuff to work with but i'm gonna hit driver anyways i think sean is as well we're just gonna try to have to i don't even know my target line quite literally have no idea we'll go find it <laughs> So Quan took a more direct route that I'm gonna take. Mine's gonna sweep and it's gonna hook hard left. Uh, ride the wind. I'm literally probably gonna have to get out of the way of the tracer because it's gonna be hooking so much. At least hopefully, if not, it's in the Pacific Ocean. I don't know, man. I don't I know I kinda either. like it. I feel like it was barely left maybe yeah. just to really nitpick but honestly i hit it pretty dang solid like the way i want it to we'll see we'll find it somewhere yeah that's the definition of we will see yeah, <laughs> yeah. fortunately i found it unfortunately i'm gonna be aiming the shot like in the rocks in the ocean and it's gonna have to draw back otherwise i'll be in the rocks in the ocean so 114 luckily the wind is kind of a little bit off the right but it's mostly into gotta draw this thing like i said I don't know where that is, but hope it's okay. You would never believe me if, you, if I told you I said I hit a pitching wedge. That thing came out so low. All right, I mean, honestly, for a blind t-ball, really having not played this hole, well, I guess in like eight years, I technically played here a long time ago. Didn't really remember it. I hit a great drive and I'm, uh, I have a pitch here, so. From the rough. From the rough, I mean. Good nice lie part though. Of, oh, it's a great lie, it's a nippy lie. Yeah. Let's see if we can't pitch one like Quan and hit one close. You guys see me jump that high? Uh, <laughs> I think I'm like eight feet, so not bad, but not as close as I wish. All right, winds howling off the left on my putt. Should be moving left to right already to begin with, so it should kind of exaggerate that break a little bit. This would be definitely a bonus if I make this, but I would like that bonus. Where'd that break at? I wish I knew what I was doing off that tee box. I, I, I had no idea, but it's all right. No blood, just a par. All right, Brittany, I got a good look here. Yeah, I want to make birdie. I think it'll tie up our match for the overall and it'll put me one up on the nut. Oh my goodness. Oh. Dude. I actually hit a good putt there too. Frick, man. I can't buy a putt out here. But this whole thing makes it look better, doesn't it? All right, 14, we got another par three. Uh, there are some big waves here. I don't know if I'm getting it on camera here yet, but 214 downwind, hard downwind. I'm probably gonna ro roast the seven iron. <laughs> it's gotta be hit good. Let's just go into this freaking bay. Just be the number. Just be the number. I don't know. Just a touch short. Touch short of the green? Yeah. Uh, no. Oh. Of the pin. Okay. It's not bad. It's not bad. Would you hit six? I had a seven. What do you think it is? If you had to go back and hit it again? Probably that, honestly. And just yeah. try to hit a little higher. Hit it higher and harder? Yeah. Okay. All right. You heard the doctor, folks. Higher and harder seven iron. 215. Yeah. It's kind of on a back shelf, it looks like. I mean, holy smokes. I, I could shank this in the water and not be mad because this is the coolest. I think this is the coolest spot I've ever been on a golf course right here. Man, dude. But I really want to hit a good one. Hey, left. All right, it's on the fringe. Oh, crap, really? Yeah. Frick, okay, I'm not as strong as you, Quan. I should have hit six. <laughs> Jake. Golly, I feel like it was so close. It literally pitched right there. If that lands on the green, I think that I'm probably at least another 20 feet closer, but. Uh, nonetheless, tough little pitch here. Kind of awkward. I uh, want to get it up and down. I got a pitching wedge. Kind of really going to count on it running out here. I 
I mean, pretty good. Not bad, yeah, just a little bit further. I mean, I saw Sean's chip, so I got a decent read off of that. So hopefully, again, this is one of those putts that's just like up and over a ridge. So I've got to get the speed right, right off the crest. Why I gotta do that? Why I gotta do that, man? My goodness, that thing freaking snapped. For a little four footer. Let's see what see if Sean can make hits for par for a little up and down. Yep. Oh god, I almost just stepped on my putter. Stepped on your putter. Two pars. Absolutely. On honest. this beast of a par three. Dude, look at look at how ominous this place looks. That's kind of my word, huh? Ominous. Imagine being down there. Would not want to mess with those waves. Wow, there's like no wind here now. Like down in this Literally valley. No wind. Yeah, we got, just got like a bunch of trees blocking the way now. But but yeah, we got our 15th hole. Got a net on the left side, so we, we got that for a little, you know, literal safety net. Um, going with the driver though, a little cut. Oh my goodness. Ha! Oh my. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue. That face was so open at impact. All right, uh, just just want to keep it left to Quans. I mean, I got a giant 80 foot high net. I can't possibly hit it over. Remember that for later, <laughs> potentially. Yeah, just want to hit over the left edge of this bunker. I mean, that's what I was trying to do. It's as easy as that. Quan, what are you doing? Man? I don't know. You're being I don't nice know. to me. You're being nice to me. I got 236 up to 248. I think it should be kind of like a perfect five wood. I don't know about y'all, but I think this is my favorite time to play golf. You know, like the last like 40 minutes before sunset. I think that's the best. Maybe it's because I'm not that much of an early riser, but I'd rather do sunset golf and sunrise. Oh, I need more wind off the left, Shaler. Frick. Honestly, I hit that solid, it just, Kind of drew up against that wind instead of kind of what I thought was going to rise. But maybe I'm in that bunker. But if I'm not in that bunker, I got a good look at it. All right. Well, my shot had literally no chance of being found in that stuff. So I took a drop. 260 flag. That's adjusted quite a bit uphill. Should be downwind though. So I'm going to go hybrid. Oh boy. Somehow catch? I don't even know. Surely that's right of the green, my guess. I got a bunker shot, but this entire green's kind of running away from me. But I had such a good number, just five wood. I thought that it was gonna kind of take the wind more. It would have been great if it did, but now we kind of barely got to land this on the green, let it roll. Kind of a toughie here. Too good, too good. Ah! All right, well, unfortunately caught the bunky but shout out to this place's bunkers. They're really nice. Like they don't have like too much sand or anything. I gotta get this thing up and down. Gotta get up and down for par. Otherwise it's gonna be an easy win for this hole for Sean. Go, go, go. Don't really know what that was. It's not very good, that's what it was. All right, Shaler. I have the sweeping putt of all sweepers here. It's moving right. Dang, dude, that thing swung. All right, I still got a, got a chance, I guess. Up the hill, right to left, for my par. I have botched this hole. This is the dumbest game. This is so dumb. The par. <laughs> how, how did I just tie you on this hole? Oh, great putt, dude, yeah, so sick. All right, this is our 
13th hole here. We got uh, three left. We're kind of trying to, we're a little pressed for time here, but this is the number one hole at the Bay Course if you guys go play it. This is 310 front edge. We're ripping. Ripping it. Rip. Look how narrow this, long and narrow this tee box is. I freaking love that. Seriously, it's so cool. Let's rip it into the craft, dude. No, oh wait, go in the bunker. Yeah, I think you're in the bunker. I hope I'm in the bunker. Yeah. If I'm not in the bunker, then I don't know where I am. All right, I have one goal and one goal only right now. Just hit a better tee shot than I did on the last hole. Expectations set low. That's a pretty low bar. <laughs> what was that on the last hole? I wish it was further right, but... We're probably fine. We're probably in the bunker again. Fairway. Oh. Fairway, really? Yeah, it's short of the bunker. Oh, perfect. I love you, Shaylee. Love you too. Shut up. All right, kind of lucked out that we're not, we don't have like a 40 yard bunker shot, but we still have kind of a tougher pitch shot off some dormant Bermuda here. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna spin it pretty good though. So hopefully I can kind of hit it up there and kind of get it to uh, check pretty quick and give myself a birdie putt. That's gotta be short. It has to be short. There's no other place for that to be than short. I hope it tumbled a little bit, but I don't think it did. Freaking A, dude. God. All right, Shaler, I got 58 yards back there. Can't see the flag. I am trying to land this thing like 53-ish. Flag's pretty far back there too. Well, I guess it's probably a little short and I'm hoping it's a little short because I don't want to be over the green. Whoa, red clouds. All right, well, I know what I need to work on when I get home. Jeez, the pitching's been brutal this week. Come on, need a putt, need a putt, need a putt. Should break right, hopefully. If not, I'm missing this 12 feet left. Oi! Ow! Oh! Thank you. Didn't say dude. Didn't say dude, didn't say dude. <laughs> All right, mine checked up way too much. And also I couldn't, I just was a big baby. I couldn't get it all the way back there. But a little left to rider. Let's try to go for heating up, two in a row. Heating up! Wow! Heating up! The guy can't putt when it's sunny. A little late charge with the putter. All right, second to last hole. We got a par three. Look at the freaking sunset right behind the green here. 164, 162 is, is the adjusted. I think I'm gonna go with the pitching wedge. Kind of hit it nice and high, roast it. Wind should carry it. Yeah, another wedge that I've missed the green with. I mean, I'm two down on the overall and one down on the side. That was a huge miss green for me. So let's see if I can capitalize with the birdie. Pull a little, uh, little two shot swing on this hole. That'd be great. That looks to be pretty good. Yeah, pin high, I think. Pin Heisman? I think so. That's a good swing. I just, you scared me after you hitting it left. It's slightly better like, than mine. Yeah. <laughs> like I've said this before, and treat this like an opportunity. Try to get this thing up and down. Haven't hit great bunker shots the last few holes, but opportunity right here. It's breaking a little left. Uh, Quan's is basically good for par. I need to make it. Go in. Go in. Oh, frick. What an effort. What a freaking effort. Uh, executive decision. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. That's good, that's oh, good. Oh, I missed mine, so you made part. No, that's good. Yeah, yeah, no, no, we're good. I want to play the last hole. Yeah, so. let's go on. We got, we're low on sunlight. Let's go to the last hole. All right, final hole, par four, downhill. A little doggy to the left slightly. I actually think they call this blue hour. Um, got a little bit of sunset left, but we gotta try to finish this out. Go with driver. when you hit it like that. <laughs> I think we're looking good. Well, I'm doomed. It's been a fun day out here at the Bay Course. Quan just uh, outplayed me. 
I, I didn't really help myself sometimes, but finish with a birdie. Come on, man. I want to hit one just like Juan. Mm. My goodness. Two nice tee shots. That might be one of the coolest tee balls I've ever seen. Like the way it flew up against that sky. Yeah, <laughs> you could see the ball the whole time. That's pretty cool. All right, I got 54, 53, and there's a new kind of a sort of a penalty area on the green there. <laughs> uh, so it's over there now, so now it's not going to affect me. It rotates. So 54. I just want to end strong here. Good wedge shot. That was just not hit well. It's hey, that... it's about pin highish. Yeah, it's gonna be another great par. All right, I got 44 yards, dude. These these drives went a long ways on this hole. I didn't expect it to be this short, but a little little flip wedge. Try to get this nice and close. I'm gonna putt in the water if it means I have to. I don't I don't care. Yeah, let's finish this round off. I feel like that water on the green kind of helped me out. <laughs> Stopped kind of quicker. Um, yeah, we got to kind of hurry up and putt. Um, this is on like a five degree slope. I am aiming so far right. If I make this, then then we tie the nine if you miss. True, so. true. Also, dude, you forgot that it just sprinkled on this one. <laughs> I know, that thing put the brakes on quick. Move. We gotta get out of here before that sprinkler gets us. Here we go. What a great day, dude. Yeah, that was fun. That was fun. Thanks to uh, Kapalua Bay Course for having us out here. I mean, we were literally the only ones on the course. I, I don't know if we've, I've, I've never had that on my That's camera. so cool. Yeah, that yeah. is really cool. They kind of rolled out the red carpet for us. But yeah, we're also the last ones to be able to film on this course as well. So they want us to come back and check out the new course once it's built. But tomorrow you guys are in for a treat with Plantation. That's where they play the PGA Tour Tournament Century, I think it is right now. But yeah, hopefully we'll see you guys in the next video. Today, I think we made eight birdies, uh, which is $160 donated. For today, we're again, we're donating $20 per birdie for the entire week that we're here. Um, again, I'll leave a link down in the description. If you guys want to donate to the uh, Lahaina fire victims, um, put that down in the description. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have made it all the way to the end, make sure you give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out if you guys do that. If you're part of the 60% watching that are not subscribed, what are y'all doing? Make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's Kapalua plantation video. Hey guys, if you're wanting my help to improve your golf, I put everything I know into my two programs here. In this one, I show you everything that you need to see in your swing in order to be a good ball striker. And if you don't see these things, I show you how to fix it. And in this one, I show you the course management knowledge that elite level players use to play good golf. And these are the things that I wish I knew a long time ago. If you want more information, check out the links in the description below. Also, if you'd like to help support me and my journey, it'd be awesome to have you as one of my patrons where you get access to a private group where I do live streams after my tournament rounds, have exclusive content for patrons only, and even do the occasional giveaway with signed putter head covers. Information about that is also in the description below.